Hey folks, so we're out here in the shop. Um, as promised on my last video, I was gonna give you all a boat tour of the brand new Basscat Caracal STS. Um, I did a video a couple months ago on it when I first got it, um, just to kind of show people it was a brand new model. I wanted to get it out there and show people like how much tackle it could hold and all that. Um, so for those of you that are in the market, that are in the market for a Basscat, uh, and you're looking into the Caracal STS, this will be a great video and uh, go back and watch that other one as well. So I got this thing loaded with tackle, um, heading out tomorrow to go to Santee Cooper for the third Bassmaster Open EQ of the year. And uh, so it's loaded with tackle. I typically don't carry this much tackle, but it's got a ton in it. So first we're gonna start off on the outside, then we'll work our way in, I'll show you all that. And uh, as always, if you have any comments uh, or questions, comment down below, I'll get back to you and answer them. Like the video also, subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. So first we're gonna start off with the back. Uh, we got the power pole, eight foot blades. As always, extremely reliable. Never had an issue with them. They're just, it's just a must have on a boat, um, especially if you fish a lot of shallow water, which I do. Um, so definitely have the two power pole blades, must have. Um, another must have, Mercury Pro XS 250. Uh, four stroke. Um, that's all I know. That's all I've ever ran. Um, when I was a kid, my dad always ran Mercury. So that's just a staple as a must have. So got to have the Mercury 250 Pro XS. Reliable, bulletproof. Never had an issue with it. The prop I'm running this year is a 24 pitch Fury. Um, comes from the factory. That's what I run. Um, whatever they put on it, Bass Cat, is what I run. I feel like uh, Rick Pierce does all the testing on these boats and the motors. He's He's the man when it comes to getting peak performance out of your boat. So I definitely will run whatever prop they stick on it. Uh, running an Atlas jack plate this year, TH jack plate, TH Marine Atlas jack plate. Um, very reliable jack plate, works every time. Never had an issue with it. And uh, new this year, we're running Lithium Pros batteries. So I'm gonna quick jump in here. I'm running two 36 volt Lithium Pros for my trolling motor battery and then my electronics, I'm running two AGM batteries, um, trying something a little different. Uh, saw um, Kevin Short running that same setup. He runs a Bascat, he works for Bascat. Um, two AGMs, I'm running those in the back of the boat. Um, the way Bascats are laid out, as you saw there, the two batteries are in the back and then there's two in the front. The two front batteries, I'm running the two Lithium Pros. Uh, they're 36 volt batteries, each of them. I run them in parallel and they keep that trolling motor, that ghost up there running. Uh, like I, I honestly, I fish now two events and I get in after a long practice day, you know, 12 hour days. And uh, my batteries, when I plug them in are at like 80% still. So great battery, um, definitely check them out. If you're in the market for Lithium Pros, they got awesome warranty and they're very, very reliable. So um, my setup again, like I said, two AGMs in the back, two Lithiums in the front. Reason I do that is for weight distribution. Um, helps with your speed top end. I'm playing with it. So we'll see how it works. If I don't like the AGMs, I'll just get some more lithium pros um, a little bit later on down the road and uh, we'll go from there. So that's the back of the boat. Show you guys the side and then we'll go to the front. So now we're up here at the front of the boat. Um, as always, got the Lawrence Ghost trolling motor. Uh, it's bulletproof, very reliable. I've ran it since it's been out and I've had zero issues with it. So that's why I ran the Lawrence Ghost. I love it, real quiet, cuts through grass. Um, it's just a great trolling motor. Like I said, zero issues. Um, this year we're running the Active Target 2 from Lawrence. I'm still learning. I'm not anywhere like some of these guys. Still got a lot to learn on that, but, but we're learning, we're doing all right. Um, up front this year, got a little bit different setup than from the past. In the past, I've ran two 12s up front. This year, I'm running a Lowrance HDS Pro 12 up front here, and I'm running a Lowrance HDS Pro 10. So um, I just like it a little bit more. It's a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable. Um, and we're running those um, this year on Boat Logics mounts. As always, I've been running Boat Logics now for probably four or five years, had zero issues with them. They're amazing mounts, they're rock solid. As you can see, I'm moving my entire boat with them. 
Um, so if you, you know, spear any waves, um, just vibration in general, like there's no vibration to them. So when you're fishing, you don't get your, like your graph shaking or anything. They're just solid. So, um, we're running these on these short mounts here this year. Uh, they're adjustable. You can tilt them forward, backwards. Um, I like that. Uh, some people wonder why I just didn't mount them directly to the boat, these gimbal brackets. Um, and the reason I don't do that is just in case like Lawrence was to come out with a different size unit, or if I want to change my size of my graphs, um, what I can do is just take this gimbal off and mount it onto this where I don't have to get into the boat, keep drilling holes into the fiberglass. So that's why I did that. Um, I'm also running the boat logics gimbal brackets as well. So, uh, Lawrence comes with a gimbal bracket out of the box. Uh, the boat logics ones are just built better. They're more sturdy. And like I said, you get like nothing, no vibration out of them at all. They're just solid. So, uh, that's my setup up front here. We're going to get in the boat now and we'll go through the whole boat and, uh, we'll show you guys again up front here, kind of a bird's eye view of, uh, my, my setup up front. So this is the front of the boat here. Like I said, we just went from the outside to the inside. Um, this year I'm running both of my power pull buttons right here. Um, got the TH Marine G-Force handle. That's a must have. I just like this handle better. It's a good handle. Um, yeah, there's a lot of space up here. This boat's really, really wide, um, which I really like. Coming from the Bass Cat era that we've ran for, I don't, since they've been out. I don't know how long that model's been out, but for a long time. I think 2011 was when the first era was out. And that's when we had one so um yeah this is definitely wider than the era um really really like it but this is my front setup as you can see these graphs stacked up here um bass cat made a little platform up here for your graphs to mount uh this is actually a spot for your um, power pole buttons right here i just like them over there that's where i'm used to them that's where i've had them on all my other boats so that's the front now we're going to get in these lids here and uh kind of show you guys the setup all right, so we're gonna jump up here in the day box. Um, carpet's fresh, so um, we're gonna start up here. This is a little day box. Um, you could throw plastics in it, whatever you want. Uh, in my previous boat, I had like tools and stuff up here. As you can see, I got like toothpicks for swim baits. I got razor blade to cut a snail, snail knot, uh, some dip and dye. I got a bunch of this um, Putski fire gel. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but this stuff's legit, so. Make sure you get some of that. Uh, there are different flavors of it. I got them in here, but um, that's that box there. Like I said, a little day box. You can throw plastics in there, whatever you want. I just use it for like little tools. I got like real spray in there, just little stuff. Stuff I'm gonna use every day. Um, so I like that. That's that. Um, now we'll jump in here in the, uh, I guess it's the driver's side rod box. And it's loaded. As you can see, I got tons of stuff in here life jacket, um, ring gear. Uh, in here I keep an extra uh, transducer for my ghost in case I crack one or whatever. Uh, in here I keep my big spools of cigar. These little blade coffins work great. So I got my cigar in there. Um, it holds them good. You can also reel, reel your line out of them. So for those of you that you know want something to keep your lining, check these out. And then I keep my leader lines and this one right here. So that's that. And here I got all my uh, Scottsboro Tackle swim baits. As you can see, I got a ton of them. These are my little ones. And then in here, I got my bigger ones. And I, like I said, I'm ready to go to a tournament. So I, I got it loaded down with tackle. Um, keep my spinner baits in here. All my nickel spinner baits. Keep them all in, the, in this box. This box is sweet. I like this box a lot. Uh, it's a flambeau. Um, but yeah, you can keep your spinner baits in there real organized, keeps them dry, and uh, yeah, really sweet. So check them out. If you're looking for a good spinner bait box, that's the deal. Um, underneath here, I keep a ton of uh, Scottsboro Tackle swim baits, mag drafts, everything in there. Those never leave the boat. I love throwing those things. I love throwing a swim bait. So if I get a chance to do it, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, that's what I keep in here. This box is loaded. Like I got a ton of stuff in there. Uh, I got my Active Target 2 um, box mounted in there too as well. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we mounted it in there uh, on a cutting board. So that was my dad's idea. We mounted it on a cutting board. We ordered a cutting board from Amazon and we cut it down and mounted it on there. So real clean, looks good, and uh, it's strong too. So 
that's that. Um, so that's what I keep in my driver's side rod box. Then we'll come over here to my my rod box where I keep all my rods. This thing's loaded, so if I can get it open. So there's all my 13 rods. As you can see, we're ready to go to a tournament. Nothing real special there, just a bunch of fishing rods, a bunch of 13 rods. And uh, I'll show you guys this box real quick. So this is where I keep all my hard baits. Um, like I said, it's loaded with, with tackle right now. So all my hard baits are in here, uh, and I also keep my hooks in here. So as you can see, um, I love these Bass Mafia bags. I keep all of my, uh, like, this is my finesse box. So I got like all my little wacky worm hooks, um, everything in there, all my favorite hooks I keep in there. Um, got a little hover rig box there just in case we have to do some of that. And um, hold up, hold up, technical difficulties. Um, so I keep my finesse hooks. These are just my regular worm hooks. And then up front here, I keep my, there's like a little shelf in here, right there. And I keep my swim bait hooks in there. So they just stay up there. And uh, when I need them, just grab them out of there. So that's this, this is my hard baits. Keep them in here. I try to keep everything labeled and organized. I'm a little bit OCD on all that. I'm trying to keep things neat and organized, but that's how I like it, so. Like I said, hard baits to keep my chatter baits in here, all my jackhammers, uh, my dirty jigs, and my hooks. So that's what I like to keep in there. Um, I also mounted this little deal here from TH Marine. It's like a little foam holder. Had these on my last boat. Really loved them. So, you know, here we got a Scottsboro Tackle swim bait. And I just, when I'm done using it, keep them there and uh, can come back to use it or leave it there so the tail doesn't get jacked up on it. So that's that box. Um, forgot to show you all the net storage too. Can't use a net in the open, so just stick, stays in here. I got a throw cushion in there. And then when I go fishing, I take my, uh, my, my rod sleeves off my rods and throw them in there. So that's what I like that for. And then up front here, now this box, I'm telling you, this thing is loaded with tackle. So don't think that I, uh, carry that this much tackle all the time but it is loaded down um as you can see so um one thing that's really cool about this boat that previous model did not have is this little like tray here um so i actually use it to keep my all my weights in i keep some plastics here some peg stops in here but as you can see these little bass mafia boxes like they fit perfect in this in this tray and and you can't change the sizing on this. This is just how it is. These things fit perfect in there. So that's what I use that for. Um, just to show you guys how deep this box is. So there's three stacked there. And then this goes all the way down. So I keep a ton of tackle in here. Uh, got a bunch of, as always, got to have the skinny dipper box. Reaction Innovation skinny dippers. That's like a must have in your boat. Never take out. Um, so I've got those in there. Uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm just ready to go. Something I like to do before a tournament, like I said, I'm about to head to a tournament, so I keep stuff that I want to try in these little bags. Uh, I think my dad got these on Amazon, and they just work great. They're little zipper bags, and I just keep stuff in them that I might want to try. Um, and I don't know if I'll get to it or not to use them, but I just keep them in there. Uh, and then you can also fit some boxes in sideways there too, so. This is a really cool box, a lot of room. This boat has a ton of storage. So that is my soft plastic area, as you can see, and it shuts too. Like it's, there's so much tackle in there, it's, it's insane. So there's that. All right, so now we're kind of in the middle section here of the boat, uh, the cockpit area. Just wanted to kind of show you guys how wide this boat is. So again, this is the Caracal STS. Um, I'm six, seven. I just want to kind of give you guys an idea on how wide this thing is. Like it is, it's wide. So like it is really wide. Um, that's something that I'm not used to. Um, having a bass cat uh, era went from a narrower boat to this. I can have like, in practice, typically I have like 20 rods out on the deck and I can actually like fish without stepping on them. So it's awesome. Um, got this little tool holder here online. Uh, I don't even know who makes it. M MK2 Designs. 
Uh, I like this. Bass Cat has one here on the console um, that it comes with. You know, you can actually put your tools there, but I don't, I don't use that. I just have always had my tools, you know, somewhere on, in this area, even on my previous boat. So I, I'm just used to it. It's just what I'm used to. So I got this cool little mount here. Uh, got some scissors. By the way, if you're looking for some freaking bad scissors, like really good scissors, these are what you want. These are just Bubba scissors. They're really sharp. They cut braid really well. Line. And I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just saying, like, these things are legit. So um, good scissors there. Got my wacky tools. Uh, just a really cool little deal there. Got a TH Marine magnet strip there. Hang some baits on to dry. Uh, like, had that in my old boat, too. Um, up front here, there is two coolers on this boat. So this boat, I utilize this as a, another storage because you can never have enough storage. Um, at least I can never have enough storage. I like having a lot of stuff in the boat. So um, in here, I keep like uh, my little wacky stuff or wacky fishing. I keep punch skirts. Um, and here I got, uh, let's see what I got in here. In here, I got like glass beads for Carolina rigging. I got a uh, Carolina rig brass weights i got rattles um screw locks so this kind of just a little bit of everything i also keep in here um i keep my treble hooks right here got them in here with the tool right there and then i keep uh, spinnerbait blades for um my nickel spinnerbait if i want to change out my blades on some of them i also keep extra skirts in here so i got two things of extra skirts if I want to change out skirt colors or whatever. But yeah, this box holds all this stuff and uh, it stays dry. So that's why I like it. Uh, but yeah, you can use this as a cooler if you would like to too, as well. So that's that box. Um, right here we got our measuring board. Right there, a bump board. Just keep that there. Um, I mounted a power pull button right here as well. I just stuck it on there with double-sided tape. That way if I'm sitting here and want to control the power poles, I can just do it right there. I don't have to move up there or reach around there and hit that. So um, the flooring in here, we got the, uh, I guess it's just no carpet. The I don't know what they call it, their name for it. But yeah, there's no carpet in the bottom of the boat. I love it because um, this spot in your boat never dries. So this dries like instantly. So I really, really like that. Um, right here, we're going to go under the seat. Um, in here I keep tools, uh, I keep extra rope, fire extinguisher, tow rope, uh, G-juice, and that's about it under the seat there. Pretty simple. Um, in here we have, uh, well this will start up here. In here we have, kind of keep like, this little mega bass box. I keep like migraine medicine, I got like extra phone charger, a whistle, uh, earplugs for when running down the lake. Um, got these little cheap glasses. These are cool. Um, if you get like these little glasses at like a hardware store, if you're running down the lake, down the lake in a bunch of rain, um, these things will save your eyes. So versus like polarized glasses when you can't see cause it's dark. Um, those are the deal. Got gum in here. Uh, that's about it. Typically I'll keep my wallet, my, um, my wallet in there and my keys also. Now here is the cooler that I use for a cooler. And this thing is huge. Like you could fit probably like 30 bottles of water in there. So I got it. I mean, it goes way down in here over on this side and way over here on this side. So it's a big, big cooler. Um, way bigger than my last boat. So I got tons of drinks in there. Um, under this seat, I keep uh, all my culling stuff. So I keep my scale. Um, this is a catch commander scale. This thing's legit. If you guys haven't checked them out, check them out. Catch commander. Uh, I love this scale. It's a great scale and it's dead on weight. So like when I weigh my fish on the open stage, it's spot on with this. So, um, keep my culling stuff in here. Uh, got my boat logics, um, culling beam, my balance beam. This thing is like super accurate. Like, as you can see, it's like dead on. I can hang a hook on it. I don't have a hook right now, um, but it will like a little feather would make this thing move. So it's a legit um, balance beam. I keep that in there. I keep my sixth tag on my calling beam. I don't keep my sixth 
tag in the live well because that's how you end up with six fish. You don't want to do that. Do that there. Keep a rope right here next to my seat. Um, that stays there. Now here on the console, um, kept it very simple, basic as I did last year. Uh, all the other boats I've ran, uh, bass cats I've had the last couple years. This has been my setup. Really, really like it. I got the Lowrance HDS 12 Pro here. Lowrance HDS 12 Pro there. Um, again, on a Boat Logics mount. This is a uh, the uh, dual console mount here. Rock solid as always. Like I said, you're gonna rip the console off the boat before these things come off. So. Um, on here, I run my mapping 2D and my down imaging. This one I run side imaging off of. Uh, that's kind of just been my setup. That's what I like. Um, also got the quad lock on here, uh, wireless phone charger. It's really sweet. Just put your phone in there, lock it in. Doesn't go anywhere um, and it stays charged. I can pull up my C maps on here while I'm driving. If I want a different mapping, I can pull it up on there on my phone and have everything kind of right here at my fingertips so that's that very simple bass cat touch panel that they've had uh works great flawless never had an issue with um that's about it got the sweet steering wheel they always have six steering wheels but uh that's that that's kind of the front the mid section of the boat now we'll go to the back all right now we're at back here in the back of the boat uh we'll start off with the world famous i don't know if the world famous but the famous triangle live wells from bass cat um, these things are huge. Like you can look down in there, they're massive. You can fit a massive bag in them. Um, Mike Iaconelli and I did a video, uh, one of his going Ike videos a few years ago. And we fit 40, I think 41 pounds in, in this, in these triangle live wells. And they were, they were totally like freaking out when we got them out. So 41 pounds, I know will fit in these live wells. Um, keep my coaling tags in here. I just put a little zip tie in there and keep them in there. And, uh, that way they're in there when I need them. That's that on the live wells. Uh, we'll come over here to the passenger side box. Like I said, I'm going fishing. So uh, it is loaded with tackle. I keep, um, typically uh, during an open, I'll keep this box open for my co-angler. But like I said, I'm practicing. So I got a bunch of baits in here that I want to try or might want to try and I'm gonna have them in here. So it is loaded with tackle. I got everything from frogs, topwater baits, got some big glide baits, um, got my Scott's Pro tackle glides. These things are dope. Check these out. So there you go, Scott's Pro tackle glide bait right there. Uh, got some wake baits in here. Um, yeah, so got them in there. And typically, like I said, I don't, this box is normally wide open. I just, I'm going practicing. So I like to keep a lot of tackle in the boat. So these boxes are big. Like I said, I'm fitting a lot of tackle in here. All right, so that's that. Um, I'll show you on the other side what that is. But um, on both of these lids here, you'll see these little triangles here. So we'll get into this one and then I'll show you that. So in here, this is behind my seat. I keep this pretty pretty wide open uh, I keep sunglasses in here a couple of uh, granola bars like snacks like that kind bars and these Sunbelt bakery bars um, safe face mask in case it starts raining spare prop gotta have a spare prop because you never know if you hit something or throw an ear on your prop um, I got a spare always keep a spare in my boat uh, must have if you don't have a spare in your boat you're playing with fire um, Another thing I always keep in my boat, right here. This thing's a lifesaver. Um, definitely recommend it for fish tournaments or even if you just fish a lot, get one of these uh, jumper box for your starting battery. If you ever have your starting battery go dead, just hook up these two little cl clips here, and this thing jump starts your your uh, your motor right up. Same thing, I, you know, if I have a truck battery go dead, I've used this too to also like jump start my truck or a French truck or whatever. So definitely a must have um if you fish tournaments or like i said just fish a lot you definitely want to get one of those so that's that pretty simple back here like i said i don't have a ton of stuff in the back i keep it pretty pretty light pretty pretty clean all right now um for these triangle lids um this is really cool so i keep sunscreen in here 
Bass Cat made these. You can look down in here. Power pole pumps are here and the screens for your live wells. You can clean your screens. All your live well stuff's there. Power pole pumps are here. If you got to refill your fluid, you have a power pole problem, everything is right here. So, and that's on both sides. Um, so that's what those little boxes are. And that's pretty much it. You know, back here in the back again, got the mercury power poles, did all that. Uh, Lithium Pro batteries, um, new this year, really liking those. So that's the boat. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you like the wrap. Um, for those of you that, you know, see Gatorland on the side, make sure you go check them out. If you go down to Orlando, Central Florida area, check out Gatorland. They're the uh, original theme park. And uh, make sure you also check out Neat Companies. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, we'll see you all next time.